Today we're going to discuss switch outlets. I'm Craig Mashad and I am the electrical instructor. Switch outlets. We all have them. Everybody has an outlet in their house that's controlled by a switch. Doesn't necessarily have to be a light in the center of a room, it can be an outlet. How is that done? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's look at the drawing before we actually see how this all goes together. We have a single pole switch, we have a, an, an outlet. So a duplex outlet. A duplex outlet has two silver screws, a green screw, and two brass screws. Now, the nice thing with the duplex outlet is each one of these outlets will, lead, will give us 120 volts, but we could split these two outlets, which means we could switch this outlet and keep this one constantly hot, which is probably what you have in your house as it is right now. So, how do we do that? Well, we go to the brass side and we break the little tab. I'll show you this in the demonstration. If you look at the drawing, it's basically telling us how we wire this. Now, the code book is stating that we need a neutral in every box, so it's best instead of doing a switch loop, which we will discuss in another video. It's best to wire it this way. Is this the only way to wire? Absolutely not. But this is the easiest way, and for beginners, this is the way you should learn. Basically what we're doing is, from our switch to our outlet, we're going to run a three-wire uh, cable. Romex, Romex. What's going to happen is, we're going to tie all our grounds together and we're going to land them on our devices just like we did an outlet and a switch. Same thing. Single pole switch, tie the neutral through, land it on the outlet. Now, if it's a split outlet, it doesn't matter what screw it goes on as long as the tab is not broken. Then we take the feed. We need to feed the single pole switch, but we also need to feed one side of that outlet. So, this black conductor here is also connect, not only feeding this single pole switch, but it's also feeding this top outlet. The red wire going between the switch and the outlet goes to the single pole switch and is carried to the bottom outlet. The tab is broken in the middle because we need to have a separation. By having that separation, the top outlet is hot all the time. The bottom outlet, we use, a we use a single pole switch. It's basic. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually wire it, and you're going to watch, and I'll show you how we put it all together. Okay, so this we actually have to carry to our other to our outlet the constant power. Constant power is coming into our single pole switch. So we're going to use the black conductor to carry power through our three wire and bring it to our, our switch outlet. So we're going to have to 
splice it, and put a pigtail on. Now we're going to install our single pole switch. Remember, ground goes on first. Okay, so if you remember correctly, on a single pole switch, it does not matter which one the feed or the switch leg goes on. In this one here, the feed is going to be on the bottom and the switch leg is going to be on the top. The red is going to be our switch leg. Now we can close it up. So now we have our outlet. Remember we're going to only split the hot side, not the neutral side. So in doing that, you can take your, your strippers and you can grab a hold of the little tab and just give it a little twist. And that's all we have to do. Take our needle nose pliers and we break it out. Now you can see that there is no, cop no copper touching this section here. So now that that's done, we're going to open up one side here. Need to strip all our wires, put hooks on it.
Okay, so just like replacing an outlet, we're gonna do this in the same manner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our ground. I'm gonna put our ground on. Remember to make sure that our wire, the end is going clockwise, because as you tighten it down, that copper wire should wrap around that screw nice and tight. Once we do the ground, we're gonna do the neutral. And then we're gonna do it this way. So, I like to switch the bottom because when anytime you take something that you want to plug in, whether it be a, a vacuum cleaner, whatever it may be, if you always reach for the top, the top is always going to be hot. I like to switch the bottom because if you're plugging in a lamp, you're going to want that bottom one you, you know, used all the time that the switch is going to control. And this top one, you can plug in your phone charger, you can plug in you know, something that doesn't need to hold power at all times. So, I like to do the switch on the bottom. So the one on the bottom here is gonna get the red wire because that's gonna be switched. And then we take the black constant power wire and we land it to the top brass screw. Now we're done. Now we just put the wire back into the, the box. And secure the device. Okay, so now all we gotta do is turn the power back on and test it. Okay, power's on. I'm gonna take my plug tester. And plug it in the top one. Top one should be hot at all times. With the switch off, I should have no lights. And I flip the switch on, lights should come on. Switch off, top one's got hot power. When I switch it, nothing happens. That's how we wire a split outlet. Okay, we call it a split outlet or a switched outlet. We all have them in our homes. They all need to be replaced eventually. So when you come across one, now you have enough knowledge to replace it. Do me a favor. If this video helped you, please give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. We're working on great things every week. I would love your feedback. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to add to my Ask the Instructor segment with your questions. Have a great day and be safe.